guys, it's time for part two of our uh, ACF tank tutorial, um, where we're going to be building our turret to go with our body. And for the purposes of this video, I made a simple body uh, that is weighing a total of 20, 21 tons, I think. But yeah, it's just four props uh, that resembles something of a tank. And so let's get started. Um, the first thing I will always do, and it just depends on what you like to do, but I like to build um, my visuals first, right? I've, I've said this before. Uh, I like to build, I like, I like to put everything where I want it to be, and then I will build the uh, functional turret off of that, rather than, you know, putting a plate here and, um, then building the uh, the visuals off of the plate. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, sorry, give me a second. I gotta mute. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna put this somewhere on here, and from there we will decide if that looks good. And you know, I I think that's perfect. That's just me, but I think that's perfect. So now off of that, we're going to make our functionality plate. And I use a plate for the axis of the uh, turret. Um, so this is going to be rotating like so, and then the gun will be on here rotating up and down. And um, the the uh, tube that I used, by the way, is a 60 by 30 tube. In cylinders and the plate I'm going to use typically around the same size you always want to use a square plate yeah, I'm going to use the 48 by 48 and what you'll do is wherever you want this to rotate that's where the center of the plate will be so I'm gonna I'm gonna eye it up a little bit that's not very good Push it into position using easy precision. Or the precision tool, whatever it's called. And this plate can really be anywhere. In fact, I usually put it in the in the body. So that's that's pretty centered, as you can tell. And I'm, I'm gonna push it uh, maybe 15 units down, so it'll be in the body. That was a little too much. I'll do maybe 10. Okay, so now we've got our turret plate. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is access this, access center, the turret plate, to your base block. And then you want the turret plate to be weighed uh, at quite a bit. It, you, you want it to weigh quite a lot just because it has to support the heavy gun. And remember, the the heavier props are, the, the better the constraints. So I'm going to make this a uh, 1,000. You can get off, you can get away with uh, less, but I typically like to make mine heavy. Um, and now, we are going to make sure this prop is no collided before we parent it. And just as the um, base prop was parented to a chip on the base, or, or the, the base part of the tank was parented to the chip on the base prop, we're going to do the exact same thing, but for the turret. So I'm going to place one, like on the center of the turret here. It can be anywhere on this body. Take out my multi-parent tool, the turret, right-click the chip. And now, if I face this, we should have a rotating turret. As you can see, it's rotating. And now, let's go ahead and put our gun. Go into the ACF tool. Go into cannons. 
and let's put a 75 millimeter on it. And now, uh, similar to what we did with the turret, uh, we're going to do basically the same thing with this gun. Uh, we're just going to put it in place before we really do anything with it. We'll move it around using precision, or, or precision, the precision tool. I'd say that looks about right. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll take our access center tool, access the side of the gun, a good spot to click it is over here, side of the gun, to the turret prop, the turret base prop, down in the body. And our final product before we start wiring anything up will look like this, which looks pretty good. So now let's start to get into the uh, wire aspects of the turret. What we want is to go down into um, uh, vehicle control gear. Find the cam controller. It's going to be used for our camera. We already have a pod controller. And then the last thing we need is uh, an EGP. And uh, where would that be? <laughs> Maybe... Okay, screens. I closed it. It's under screens. Um, I just use a small model, just like everything else. And each of these things, the cam controller, you'll use the cam controller tool to link it up. Right click and right click. Same with the EGP. Right click to right click. You'll see this little yellow line going from there to the seat. So now that we've got all our uh, wire components Let's go ahead and start coding. So this is this is my tank chip here. Um, it's a chip by Spider, and it, Spider based it off of some other chips. It's like a collaboration chip in a sense. Um, but this is at the core Spider's Spider's chip, and I edited it, edited it ugh, quite heavily. Uh, to suit my, my needs. And it's kind of easier to uh, manage now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to post a download link for this uh, chip and you can use this on your tank. Um, but I'm going to go over it over the variables at least. So we've got our first two variables HUD color and HUD color 2. Um, when you get in the tank you will see a HUD and it's a very simple chevron aiming system type thing. And there's just different colors you can edit. That's self-explanatory. Now, for our gun, we've got elevation, how high the uh, gun can pitch. Depression, how low it can pitch. Yaw, how far it can rotate. Uh, so if this was 90 degrees, for example, it would only be able to rotate 90 degrees to the side before it would get cut off. Uh, realistic gun movement is something that I added. Um, and what that does is when you turn your tank, the turret comes with it, just as a normal tank would do, just as normal anything would do in real life, rather than just turning the body independently of the turret, the turret will move with the, with the body. And you'll see what I mean when I, when I finish everything. Cam offset, where the camera is, uh, in terms of X, Y, Z. And this is off of the um, base prop. So when you wire it up, the base prop that you're wiring is for this. I'll explain that more in detail in a little bit. Cam distance is how far the camera is away from this center point. So zoom backwards. How far the camera is behind your tank, essentially. And that's really all you need to know for a chip. And this can be placed anywhere. I'm just going to put it and next to all our other stuff, and we'll start wiring. So, on the chip we made before, we didn't have gun ready, so let's not let's not worry about that. So, uh, our easy tank turret chip here, we've got a pod wire link. Wire that up to the pod controller. Cam wire link, not the EGP, sorry. Cam controller. EGP to the EGP. Gun to the gun. 
chair to the chair. Base. Now, this is what I was talking about before. This has to do with the camera. Um, base is just the origin point for that offset. So I make it my turret base. So now that, that vector that I was talking about, XYZ, I have it set to 0, 0, 0150. So my center point is like right here above the turret, just where I want it. And then I have the zoom or the uh, cam offset 250. So the camera will be probably somewhere around here. Okay, moving on. Got active, go to active in the pod controller. Gun ready, we'll go to the gun, ready. Next weapon, next weapon, previous weapon, next weapon. And we are done wiring it. Um, that should do everything you need. So let's go ahead and give it a, give it a test. So now the realistic gun movement thing I was talking about. Notice how when you turn you turn the body, the gun faces the same angle. Normally in other people's chips you would have, you know, these working independently of one another and uh, independent of one another, and you know you can do this type of thing. We don't want that. Bless you. That's my dog's name. Okay, so. As you can see, everything works pretty, pretty nicely. Uh, this is what the HUD looks like. Um, the purple dot is where the gun is aiming, and the uh, that's that's really all I should have, should have mentioned. The rest is uh, self-explanatory, I think. Uh, scroll is zooming. And another thing I added. Um, you can right click, just like if anybody plays the World of Tanks here, uh, if you right click you can hold the position of the gun um, with respect to the body of the uh, tank. So I can rotate my turret in any direction and right click and it will stay in that, that uh, location. My game crashed uh, in the middle of making that tank, so I lost the tank um, we were making. However, the last part um, is fairly simple, so I figured I would just show it on a previous tank I've made. Uh, it has to do with armoring the turret, and placing the ammo, and wiring up the last few things. So, uh, first thing I'll go over is the, am the ar armor. Excuse me. And uh, take our ACF armor properties tool. And if you look at the little cylinder we made, you can choose to armor it however you'd like. Um, for this tank, I have 150, or sorry, 250 millimeters in the gun mantlet, uh, and 180 millimeters in the front, and 30 millimeters on the side, and 10 millimeters on the back. So now what we will do is spawn our ammo. I like to put my ammo in the tank a lot of times, but I've uh, more recently been placing it in the turret as well, just because you want to use it, utilize the uh, space you have uh, inside a tank. Next up, we want to make sure we no collide everything. Including the stuff inside the tank here. You want to make sure you know collide the engines and the seat and the gearbox. It all helps uh, when uh, dealing with the final product. Uh, you don't want the seat, the, the wheels to run into anything, collide with anything. So I'm just going to eye the ammo into the tank. You can use precision tool if you want. I always put mine in the back. And we'll weld it in place to the uh, base prop. And then we'll wire it, it up active from the ammo. We'll go to active on the uh, pod controller. And then the gun over here, fire, goes to the pod controller as well. And we'll wire it to mouse one. 
And lastly, we take our ACF menu tool to link the gun to the ammo. Right click the gun and you right click the ammo. And with that, we should be all set to drive our tank and start fighting. Uh, if I get in, when you first click, when you first shoot, you'll notice the chevron turns red. That means the gun is not ready. It first has to load a uh, round into the barrel. And then it's green when the gun is ready to shoot. Fire, and then you can see it's reloading again. Alright guys, that's uh, pretty much everything you need to know to make a basic tank. Uh, comment or message me if you have any questions or if you want to see something done. Or if I didn't cover anything. For whatever reason, just send a message. I'll try to answer it. See you guys in the next video.